Hey everyone, it's Victoria with Nutrition by Victoria and welcome to another video. Sorry I've been MIA, I've had a lot going on and I um, ran into overtraining syndrome so I got really fatigued um, from all the exercise I was doing and spending a lot of nights up with my kids. Um, so basically I've just had to change some things up to better support my own body and um, create more balance in my system than just completely exhausting myself every day and then not being able to recover because that can happen. Um, so I'll show you guys what I've done um, to change things up. It's really not much. I've I just finished up a yoga practice so I've been doing yoga, that's been helping a lot. Um, I'm still going to the gym and working out um, pretty much daily, but I've decreased the duration and that's helped a lot. And then I've made some diet changes. So uh, today will be a what I eat in a day video and I'll show you guys um, what I've been up to. All right, so the first thing I had this morning was some hot water with lemon. Um, because I have a cold right now and that just helps a lot. But I'm about to get breakfast going and take Lily to school and then head to the gym and I'll show you guys what I eat in the meantime. Okay, so I'm going to start my day with some of these organic blueberries. I've been really focusing on having a lot more nutrient dense foods in my diet, more fruits and vegetables, and that's been helping a lot. These blueberries are so good. <laughs> All right, and now I'm gonna have this uh, perfectly ripe, large, bana organic banana. And now I'm gonna have this car car orange. They're pink inside, I'll show you guys. See, it's beautiful. And these are a little sweeter than your typical navels. And I'm gonna have one more orange. Hi, I'm at the gym, I'm the stir supper. I do this after I run, so I did a incline jog today for 25 minutes with 10 minutes of walking for 3 miles. I'll do this for 10 minutes and then finish up on the bike for probably 10 to 20 minutes and head out. Alright, I just got out of the gym. I ended up doing a little bit of strength training, just some lunges and uh, some cable work and stretched and took a shower. And now I'm about to have a apple as my after workout snack while I am nursing. So little buddy's having an apple too. Is that yummy? <laughs> Alright, I just got done grocery shopping and now I'm gonna get some black cherries in. This is definitely a treat. They were expensive and uh, out of season. And from, I think, Argentina. But we'll be good. Alright, I'm back home and just putting away some groceries. And I made myself another cup of hot lemon water. I have a cold and I've been drinking that and that seems to be helping. And I'm going to have some dates. What do you have? Dates. Mm. All right, for dinner tonight, I'm going to make a vegetable soup, and it's going to have carrots, zucchini, onion, bell pepper, spinach, and some of this fat-free marinara sauce as the base for the soup with some turmeric, red pepper and cumin for spices. Okay, so for the soup, all I did was put some water in the bottom of the pot and then I chopped up the onion, bell pepper, zucchini, and carrots. And I'm gonna get let this cook down a little bit and then I'm going to add water to fill and the marinara sauce. Okay, and now I'm going to add the water to cover. Looks like I need more water. Okay, more water. That looks efficient. And now I'm going to add the sauce and spices. It's 
So this is going to come out to be like a garden vegetable soup. Maybe I put too much water in there. Oh well, it'll be brothy. Okay. And now for the spices. Okay, so for the spices, adding turmeric, and I'm not measuring these, I'm just going to kind of shake it in here. Probably this will be about a quarter teaspoon. Okay. Then I'm going to add some ground cumin, probably about a half a teaspoon of cumin. Oh, <laughs> might be a little more than um, half, but I like cumin, so it's okay. And then I'm going to add some crushed red pepper to make it a bit spicy. And this will probably be about a quarter teaspoon as well. And then you're going to bring this to a boil and let it cook like that for like 10 minutes, and then I'll reduce the heat. Okay, stir this up, and then I add the spinach last, because I don't want to overcook the spinach. Okay. So I use the cover to help it boil faster, which, look at that, it's already boiling. And then I'll add some black pepper to this as well. Not a lot, just sprinkles. Maybe like, um, I don't know, like an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay. All this is going to help my cold. And it's very brothy, but some of this water is going to boil off. And then once I put the spinach in, it's going to even it out too. All right, all the veggies are cooked, so I turned the heat to low, and I'm going to add this whole bag of spinach. And then I will keep the lid off, as I did add a lot of water to this, but the spinach will help kind of even it out. And then it will be ready. Okay, so I totally forgot to add the tomatoes to the soup. And you don't have to, but I wanted to. So here they go. Okay, so I'll leave this on low heat for a little bit so those tomatoes can cook a little bit. And it'll be ready. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to make some salad wraps. There's romaine, cucumber, spring greens, raisins, and I'm going to drizzle some lemon on top, and I'll eat a bunch of these. Okay, and in case anybody's looking for, like, a vegan mac and cheese for their kids, this, br this brand, it's in the freezer section, is amazing. Violet absolutely loves it, and uh, yeah, it's a good alternative to dairy mac and cheese. Okay, here's my finished soup. It actually turned out quite spicy, so if you don't like spice, definitely cut back on the red pepper flakes, but I'm going to enjoy this. I put a little bit of black pepper on top, and yeah, great for if you have a cold or just craving some garden veg soup. So you could add potatoes to this soup, and I have before, but lately I just haven't been feeling anything really starchy, because I've been a bit congested. Um, 
I've been eating more like whole food, plant-based. You know, my typical diet only, I haven't been eating as much rice and refined sugar and things like that because I think it was actually making my um, chronic fatigue condition a little worse because I was able to do so much more without being able to recover. So the emphasis I want to make in this video is that you have to, when you're on any kind of a lifestyle, find a balance with, with it in terms of like what you eat and how much you move. And obviously if you have the ability to recover from the exercise training you're doing, like by all means, like go and max out your carbohydrate intake every single day. I still eat obviously high carb. I've just um, found uh, focusing on nutrient density to be very um, healing for my system and um, balancing and um, yeah, just allowing me to get the most bang for my buck because that's the kind of lifestyle I live. It's very active not a whole lot of downtime, so I have to be nourishing my body really well, eating a lot of calories plus a lot of nutrients in the meantime. So anyways, I'm gonna finish this, probably have another bowl, but that'll be about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, and here's my second bowl of soup, and I'm having some nori on top, and I'm gonna have a few rice, brown rice cakes to go with it. Yum.